Throughout the Smash series, Pokeballs have always been a fan favorite item. Smash 4 was the first time Master Balls were introduced, allowing you a much higher chance to summon a really powerful Pokemon. But even with Master Balls and a handful of legendaries, there are still a ton of terrible, basically useless Pokemon that you can call to your side. With that being said, it's time to count down the top 5 worst Pokeball Pokemon in Smash Wii U. Kicking off the list is Generation 6 Fire Pidgey, or, you know, Fletchling. This little chick pecks at nearby opponents for 2% damage, and if there aren't any nearby opponents, it'll go find some. One might think, wow, this Pokemon really shows initiative, but sometimes certain things don't even deserve an A for effort. Fletchling moves extremely slow, wastes time flying onto platforms if a nearby opponent jumps, and really doesn't do anything significant even if it is right beside enemies. You actually do more damage in knockback if you just hit the opponent with the Pokeball itself. So, I'm sorry Fire Pidgey, but you suck. Swirlix, Blossom, and Spupa all have aura-like effects that surround them, and they're all equally terrible, which is why they can all hold that L and share the number 4 spot. First off, Spupa doesn't use Stun Spore unless you hit it, so have fun waiting for someone to walk by and ask to be stunned. Blossom and Swirlix are a little bit better since their aura effect is present the entire time they're on the stage but its area of effect is pretty small, and the Pokémon don't move or change stage positions at all. So unless you can hit your opponent into the aura, they're probably not going to approach you with a Pokémon by your side. Now this may come as a surprise, but Mew takes the middle spot on the list. According to Reddit, the chance of Mew appearing is relative to how many Pokémon currently exist in the Pokédex during each Smash game's release. For example, in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, there's a 1 in 493 chance of releasing Mew from a Pokeball. In Smash 4, 6 generations into Pokemon, there's a 1 in 719 chance of seeing Mew. With that being said, the only thing Mew does is occasionally drop a CD, trophy, custom move, or a Mew outfit, all of which can be collected just by playing through the game. Heck, you could even just get your amiibo to do it by watching my how-to guide in the video description below. <coughs> Shameless. It's not even confirmed whether or not the items that Mew drops are always new, or if they could be collectibles that you already have. So to recap, it doesn't hurt anyone, which is totally lame, it might drop an item that you already have, nobody seems to know for sure yet, or just not drop anything at all. And in most cases you'll probably throw a couple hundred Pokeballs before even seeing Mew. So yeah, number 3, it sucks. At the runner-up spot is Eevee. Now, Eevee is a little bit better than Fletchling if you consider the fact that it does 8% damage when hitting nearby enemies, but that's the thing. Eevee only tackles nearby enemies, and when I say near, I mean like a few steps away. If there aren't any enemies close to Eevee, it just stands there, looking around and being useless. Eevee has almost twice as many evolutions that you can even have in a Pokemon party, and yet they kept it vanilla and gave it a tackle? Sometimes? I don't even know what to say anymore, Eevee please! And last but not least, well actually, it is the least helpful Pokemon in the game, Goldeen. And to make it even worse, you can even get it from a Master Ball as if it wasn't troll enough already. But at least Goldeen has got the consistency thing down and has been completely useless throughout the entire Smash series. <sighs> no, whatever the kid at school or your friend a few doors down said, there's no perfect insta-kill sweet spot right as Goldeen comes out of the Pokeball. And no, you cannot make Goldeen evolve by pressing some crazy button combination. What you can do, however, is roll your face across your controller, because that'll actually do more for you than Goldeen ever will. Don't agree with the top 5 worst Pokeball Pokemon in Smash Wii U? Let me know what your top 5 is in the comments below. You can also vote on the next episode topic. Top 5 assist trophies, best or worst, you decide. If you have a different top 5 idea, feel free to let me know in the comments as well. To check out the how-to video I mentioned earlier about farming collectibles with your amiibo, just click the top video on your screen. And if you want to learn some Smash terminology, then check out the Smash Dictionary series by clicking the bottom video. If you can't see the annotations, do not worry, all of the links you need are in the video description below. I'm UG Smash Central, thanks for watching all the way until the end, and as always, happy smashing!